Good morning. Apparently somebody loves Gilmore Girls. Yay! <laughs> this is so great. He's hooked. Creamy kale chickpea pasta is for dinner tonight. I will link the recipe below. It's sauce with um, made out of sunflower seeds and kale, so hopefully it's yummy. My first bite was good, but we'll let you know what we think. Okay, this little guy cannot keep his eyes off of me. He's giving me like a smolder. This is one of the few times he's actually been awake in the car. We got a beautiful sunset going on, racing the Magic Kingdom for <laughs> a fraction of time, but it'll be worth it. <laughs> oh no! Alrighty, he's snoozing now. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll make it into the park. We'll see. Um, it is over 70 degrees out and I wore a turtleneck. I thought it was going to be chillier, so there's that. Um, but dinner, I actually really, really liked it. Did you like it, Peter? I loved it. Yeah, it was like probably one of the like more like crunchy vegan like versions of pasta that I've made with like the sunflower seed sauce and the kale and the chickpeas. And I actually used edamame pasta. I think I probably would have liked it more if it was just normal, like normal pasta. It would have made it just like a little bit less different and sometimes I psych myself out when I make things that are too different or like have alternative things that I'm used to and I just like psych myself into thinking that I don't like it even before I eat it and I was worried that was gonna happen tonight but it was really really good um, so again I'll have that recipe linked along with the Instagram handle of someone that I've been following for some time that makes all plant-based meals and recipes and they like just launched a, a nice website where they all are um, if you want some you know inspiration for those types of meals but the Instagram is really cool because she does step-by-step -step stories and they're really quick and easy to follow along so I will also link her tag in the description got his little hand up to his cheek. Look at this sky. Florida really does do sunsets best. Yeah. It's 6.15, we're in TTC parking lot. Yep. Magic came close at 7. Yeah. <laughs> so, I have faith that we'll get in the park. I don't know if we'll get on any attractions or if anything Sarah will get on Space Mountain. Yeah. And that's honestly the goal and then walking the walkway. Yeah. Back it, because yeah. we haven't done that yet. Right. And we just want to check it out. It's nice out. It hasn't been this nice like in a while I feel. Yeah, no hoodie on, no jacket. Yeah, feels Pants. good. Yeah. Guess who woke up? Hey. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at all the, all the lights. Things. He's a happy boy. He's a happy James E. So far he says Tomorrowland's his favorite land. Woo! How excited are you? I'm very excited. You've not been on Space Mountain in what? I don't know. Uh, probably a year. One year anniversary of transferring him. So, so there's a very likelihood that, that you haven't gone us in 12 months. Yes. That is wild. Yeah. Well, we're changing that today. This is a five minute wait. Five minute wait. There's such good wait times tonight. If only there was an hour left of park time. Even we if there was just 30 minutes. It. Even 30 minutes more. Yeah. We just need running just time in between the attractions. 
Mommy's about to go on the best part ever. Wow, when do you see that? I got my favorite side. So when you're going, I like the left side. Peter likes the right side. The left has more drop. The right, it's faster. But I like the drops. This is just one of those smells and feels that oh, I just love it. Someone wanted to get out of their car seat. He was just loving the sights and sounds of Tomorrowland, so I had to take him out. He was so happy to be... I'm getting very excited because he's never been this awake in the Magic Kingdom before, like he has the past couple Epcot visits. So, I think a whole tour of Magic Kingdom is necessary so he can see with his eyes, learn all the things he needs to learn. Can you see my smile through my mask? Oh, such a good ride. I think that might be my favorite mountain. I think, I think that just won me over. That ride. We made it! Ah! We're gonna go over to the pool! Yay! Oh my goodness. Eco Wood, the East Wing traded place. If you ask me. He'll never reach that Hopefully later this year we'll come back and you will be able to see fireworks. Yeah, that is a beautiful, beautiful castle. I tell ya. Well, we couldn't make it to Frontierland anywhere. They've been sticklers lately about not going into other lands after park close. So we will mosey through Main Street and then we're going to walk back all the way back to the parking lot. We're going to take this walking path since it's 7.15 only. To Grand Floridian, onto the Polynesian, onto TPC. Seems boy. I just have a feeling you're gonna stay up there one day. <gasps> maybe with us, maybe without us. I just have a feeling you're gonna spend the night in the Cinderella suite. You're just that special. That was a pretty kick butt visit. Yeah, it was literally only like 25 minutes. Right. Alrighty, first time on the path. First time on the walkway. I think the topper, the little piece of cake on top was getting to go on Winnie the Pooh with all of us. <laughs> the cherry on top. The cherry on top, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was like the, literal minutes. Right, the despair. goal was to get you on an attraction that you haven't been on. So we were yeah. thinking Big Thunder or... I went on Big Thunder. Oh, that's right. That was space good. Space was the goal. Yeah. Um, I think Space might be my favorite mountain. Space is my favorite attraction. Period? Period. He got some benches just imagine and some sitting trees. Here, imagine the railroad going and just like reading a book here. Yeah. Or eating a picnic with and the railroad going. beautiful lights. Ooh. There's a snake. 
seems to be like the first wild life to make a pet on a hard Yeah, it's a little baby snake. There you go. Yeah, good job. Such a cool view. So this little area is where the water pageant typically hangs out, like where it parks. And here's the bridge. Imagine being here on New Year's Eve. I so did the perimeter for like the, the Oh fireworks. yeah. Because then you'd have perimeter fireworks this way of Magic Kingdom. Uh -huh. And then a, a different perspective than like ever for the, these lagoon ones because they yeah. fire off special ones. Whoa. Whoa. He loves the bridge. You don't realize how high up the mountain hill is until you get to walk below it. Jeesh. Right, so but this is not like a near Magic Kingdom or Epcot or TTC like loading zone so it didn't drop. Right. This is like peak height. High. Yeah. Over the water. Oh. Okay, and then it pops up right by Gasparilla Grill. It was a 15 minute walk from yeah. the front of Magic Kingdom to here. Just enjoyable pace. Not yeah. like speeding, not slow. Right. Which you could wait that long just to get on a monorail. So depending on how tired your feet are from your day at the park. And depending on what resort you're staying at. Right. It's a pretty, pretty sweet option. I like it. The piano's back. And I think I hear somebody playing. Huh? Ayo! This just made my mind. It's flash. It's a flash! <laughs> nice to see Wes, especially unplanned. We only saw the last like 45 seconds of his last song. But he's going to be here, I think he said through Sunday, so I think we might. We were talking about literally coming here potentially and just sitting here all tomorrow afternoon like reading in between sets or walking around the resort. Just to like... Before you know it guys, we're not going to have time here. It hit me today. I looked at the weekends and we've got five weekends left and we've got plans for two of them already and have loose plans for two more. So that means like one open weekend is left. Right. So it'd be nice to just bask in the Grand Floridian. Yeah, because this is one of our staples here, especially West being here. And we, I'm like, they don't post what times or days he's gonna be here. So I overheard him tell another guest he'll be here tomorrow. So we might come here, might sneak over here on my lunch break and I might finish working here or just come here after work to get all the sets in. Your belly full and you ready to go home? Oh yeah. Is it crazy it's been almost it's been over two hours since we started this path? Yeah. Because we took such a long break at Grand Floridian. <laughs> it would be cool if you could walk from the TTC to contemporary. Because then you could really walk the whole thing. The whole thing. But this is still a pretty decent hike. Yeah, for sure. call this. It's almost like we're being escorted. Yeah. On I-4. I don't know if it's just from closures. I'm trying to look up and see why it would be closed. But how fast are we going? Uh, 25. Yeah. But it's like they're not stopping us but they're just making us slow down. Yeah. So it's almost like they're like I could see them trying to like transport a big piece of construction because there's so much construction right now. Yeah. I see them getting like wanting to like get a giant I beam across I-4. I don't know, I've just never seen this before. It's only 925. What I do know is that my baby likes 60 miles per hour or higher, so. Passing by him super fast and the camera didn't know what to focus on. But those were the beams. And that's what was stopping us. That was freaky. That was cool. Well, look at that. A calm night on Park Avenue. I decided to give you a little insider info on what my runs are gonna look like in Chicago. They're gonna look awesome. I have two more regular short, shorter routes kind of planned out. One will bring me right past Wrigley Field. One will bring me along the lakefront, right up on the water, running against that. Not on sand, there's a, a walking, running, biking path up against the lake. Then my long weekend runs typically will bring me downtown to the loop, 
like real downtown, like all the way up to Navy Pier, probably the end of Navy Pier, back up to the north side. So I know it's gonna be cold, but that cold's gonna be worth it to have those sights and sounds. And I'll be running past oftentimes on my long weekend runs where I proposed to Sarah. So I'll definitely get to show you that. And Chicago's got a rich running name, community in the suburbs and downtown. I'm excited to get involved in that um, when they open back up. I don't think a lot of group group have opened up in Chicago for running yet, but they will. And when they do, it's gonna be great. It's right, January 21. Ooh, it's a big one. By Shauna Nequest. Don't get stuck. Move, travel, take a class, take a risk. There is a season for wildness and a season for steadiness, steadiness. And this is neither. This season is about becoming. Don't lose, you, lose yourself at happy hour, but don't lose yourself on the corporate ladder either. Stop every once in a while and go out to coffee or climb in bed with your journal. Now is your time. Walk closely with people you love. Don't get stuck in the past. And don't try to fast forward yourself into a future you haven't yet earned. Give today all the love and intensity and courage you can, and keep traveling honestly along life's path. I love it. Look at this setup. He's just ready for bed. So is she over there. Like... Our two like, little ones. Come on guys, stop vlogging and let's go to bed already. Are you ready for bed? I don't know, he has not ready. Yeah, he looks like he's ready to party. You ready to party? Ready to party? Ready to party? Yeah. Party. And with that, it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.